Yesterday, the Graham and Parks Alternative Public School in Cambridge was dedicated, named after State Representative Sandra Graham and Rosa Louise Parks. The children of the school wrote a poem in honor of Rosa Parks and State Representative Sandra Graham. Rosa Parks and Sandra Graham really have tough guts. They stuck around and stood their ground when the going got rough. I'm honored to present to you the one whose courage to risk on behalf of right has become a model for so many other risk takers, the one who stood her ground by remaining seated and saying, I am not going to move, the mother of the civil rights movement, Rosa Parks, who will share with us her thoughts on the civil rights movement. Rosa Parks. Thank you very much, Reverend Albert, and to the platform guests, Mr. King, all of us who here assembled, our minutes are growing short and I have to be departing very shortly, so I cannot give you too much of about the civil rights movement, but as uh, Reverend Alberts read the little child story by Eloise Greenfield, you now know that I was not a hothouse plant that was just sitting on the bus and didn't know which way to go and didn't know what to expect. Because as far back as I can remember, and even I suppose further back, I can uh, remember my mother singing, Oh, Freedom over me, before I be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord, who's there to save, I'll be free. And it has been a lifelong struggle, and I have grown old, weary, tired, sometimes despairing, but as I have spent the weekend here in Cambridge, and witness the naming and dedication of the alternative school, Graham Park School. And with you here today, hearing you sing the freedom songs and the young man speaking from El Salvador, and all of us, I believe that if we, more of us would band together for freedom and for peace and for goodwill, we do have a chance. And I, in spite of all of the oppression, the brutality I witnessed, and the deprivation that I had to live through for the early part of my life and through much of the middle life. I am remaining hopeful, and I shall continue to do so, and I pray God's blessings upon you, and I ask that your prayers go with me as I move from this area back to Detroit to carry on the best I can to make life meaningful and better for all of us, regardless of our race or color or national origin or political persuasion or religious belief. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa Parks, on behalf of all of us. All of us. 